Hello everyone, welcome to Defense IAS Academy, specialized in civil service examinations and uh, defense examination coaching. Uh, so today we are going to see a little bit about uh, ancient history, mainly uh, multiple choice questions, uh, the most frequently asked questions on ancient history. Question 1. Who was the first Saka king in India? The correct answer is uh, option A, Moga. Uh, Moga was an Indo-Scythian king and uh, he was the first Saka king in India who established Saka power in Gandhara and extended supremacy over northwestern India. Question 2. The Aryans dedicated whole of a separate mandala in Rig Veda for the hymns dedicated to the options are option A Agni, option B Varuna, option C Indra, option D Soma. The correct answer is option D Soma. Uh, now Soma and Homa, it's the uh, ninth mandal of uh, Rig Veda which contains 114 hymns. The fermented juice of the plant called Soma appears to have been the only intoxicating drink used in Vedic times. So much were the ancient Aryans addicted to this drink that Soma was soon worshipped as a deity both in India and in Iraq under the name Homa in the later country that is uh, it was called Homa in Iran and we find one entire mandala or book on Rig Veda dedicated to this deity. Question number 3. The Kadamba dynasty was founded by whom? The correct answer is option C, Mayura Sharma. The Kadamba dynasty was founded by Mayura Sharma in 345 AD. It was an ancient royal dynasty of Karnataka that ruled northern Karnataka and the Konkan from their capital Banavasi. Uh, at present, uh, Banavasi uh, it's called as the Uttara Kannada district in the south Indian state of Karnataka. Question number 4. Which of the following was the capital of northern Panjalas? The correct answer is option A, Ahichatra. The northern Panjalas had their capital at Ahichatra. On the other hand, southern Panjalas had their capital at Kampilya. Question number 5. Which among the following rulers is often described as the first empire builder of Indian history? The correct answer is option B. Mahapatmananda, the founder of Nanda dynasty. Mahapatmananda is often described as the first empire builder of Indian history. Question number 6. According to Sri Lankan chronicle Mahamavasa, Mauryan Emperor Ashoka converted to Buddhism by the correct answer is option D. Nigrodha. As per the Sri Lankan chronicle Mahamavasa, Mauryan Emperor Ashoka was impressed by Nigrodha and ultimately he got converted to Buddhism due to his impression. Question 7. Before ascending to the Maurya throne, Ashoka was the viceroy of which of the following? The correct answer is option A. Taxila. Before ascending to the Maurya throne, Ashoka was the viceroy of Taxila. Question 8. Purusha Sukta is a part of which among the following Vedas? The correct answer is option B, Rig Veda. Rig Veda Purusha Sukta is the 10th mandal of the Rig Veda that explains the origin of four Varnas, mainly Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. So, the 10th mandal of Rig Veda, it explains the uh, origin of four Varnas, mainly uh, Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya and Shudra. Question number 9. In which of the following Vedas, the priest is Brahma? The correct answer is option D, Adarva Veda. In Adarva Veda, the priest is Brahma. Question number 10. In the later Vedic period, who was the god of Shudras? The correct answer is option A, Pushan. 
According to the later Vedic traditions, the gods were from different castes. For example, uh, Agni is a Brahman, Indra and Varuna are Kshatriya, Rudra and Maruts are uh, Vaishya, while Pushan is a Sundra god. Pushan is a solar deity and one of the Adityas, responsible for journeys, marriage and uh, carrier of souls to the other world. He also protected the travelers in their journeys. Question number 11. Which Saka king defeated by Gautami Putra Satkarni? The correct answer is option D. Nahapana. The famous Satvahana ruler Gautami Putra Satkarni defeated the Saka king Nahapana and restored the prestige of his dynasty by reconquering a large part of the former dominions of the Satvahanas. Question number 12. The achievements of which ruler was recorded in Nasik inscription? The correct answer is option D. Gautami Putra Satkarni. The achievements of Gautami Putra Satkarni was mentioned in Nasik inscription who were made by his mother Gautami Balasri. In it, Gautami Putra Satkarni was mentioned as the destroyer of the Sakas, Pahlavas and the Yavanas. Question 13. Who was the court physician during the reign of Kanishka I? The correct answer is option A. Charak. Charak was the court physician of Kanishka I. He was one of the principal contributors to the ancient art and science of Ayurveda, a system of medicine and lifestyle developed in ancient India. He is sometimes referred to as the father of Indian medicine. Question 14. The gold coins issued during the reign of Chandragupta Vikramaditya were known as? The correct answer is option A. Dinara. The gold coins issued during the reign of Chandragupta Vikramaditya are also known as Dinara. Question number 15. Which of the following are the famous temples of Gupta Empire? The correct answer is option D. All of the above means uh, the options listed Mukund Dara Temple which is in Kota, the Dasavdar Temple which is in Jansi, the uh, Vishnu Temple which is in Tigawa all are the famous temples of Gupta Empire. The uh, other famous temples uh, of the Gupta Empire can be listed as like uh, one is the Vishnu temple in Tigwa, uh, second is uh, Shiva temple which is in uh, Bumara, next the Parvati temple which is in uh, Nachriya Kutara and uh, next one is Dasavdar temple in uh, Jansi, Shiva temple in Nagaland, the uh, Bitragon temple in uh, Bitragon the Lakshman Temple in Kanpur, Lakshman Temple in Sirpur, then uh, the Mugund Dara Temple in Kota, then uh, Damek Temple in Sarnath and uh, the Jarasang sitting in Rajki. All these are the famous temples in the Gupta Empire. Question number 16. Which of the following is the period assigned to the reign of Harsha Vardhana? The correct answer is option B, 606 to 647 AD. The period assigned to Harsha Vardhana reign is 606 to 647 AD. He is regarded as the last great Hindu emperor of India who ruled over northern India. Question number 17. Who was the first ruler of Kushana dynasty to issue gold coins in India? The correct answer is option A. Vima Kathphysis. The famous ruler of Kushana empire Vima Kathphysis is best known for issuing large number of gold coins. He is known to have maintained the silk route and the trade with all sides including the China, Alexandria and Roman Empire. Question number 80. 
Tatvam Asi, a Sanskrit phrase, originally occurs in which of the following Upanishads? The correct answer is option B, Chandogya Upanishad. Tatvam Asi is a Sanskrit phrase. It is one of the Mahavakyas in Vedantic Sanatana Dharma. It originally occurs in the Chandogya Upanishad, a Sanskrit text embedded in the Chandogya Brahmana of the Sama Veda of Hinduism. Question number 19. Yakna Valkya Smriti was written in which among the following era? The correct answer is option D. Gupta period. The Yagna Valkya Smriti is a Dharma related text of Hinduism. It is composed in Sanskrit and uh, it is dated between 3rd to 5th century and uh, belongs to the Gupta period. Question number 20. Ashoka called the 3rd Buddhist council at which of the following places? The correct answer is option B. Patali Putra. The third Buddhist council was convened in about 250 BCE at Ashogarama in Pataliputra, supposedly under the patronage of the emperor Ashoka. The council is recognized and uh, known to both the Theravada and uh, Mahayana schools, though its importance is central only to the Theravada. Question 21. Nigashta Natputra Nirgrantha and Satputra are various names of which of the following? I repeat Nigashta, Natputra, Nirgrantha, Satputra are various names of which of the following? The correct answer is option A Mahavira. All these are various names of Mahavira. The Mahavira is also known as Vardhamana and uh, was the 24th Tirthakara of Jainism. Question 22. Mudra Rakshas is a work of Vishakhatatta. This work was depicted by which of the following? The correct answer is Mauryas and Nandas. Option B, Mauryas and Nandas. The Mudra Rakshasa is a Sanskrit language play by Vishakhadatta that narrates the ascent of the king Chandragupta Maurya. It is dated variously from the late 4th century to the 8th century CE. This work depicted Mauryas and Nandas. Question 23. Who was the founder of the Pala dynasty of Bengal? The correct answer is option B. Gopala. Gopala is the founder of Pala dynasty. He was a local chieftain who rose to power in the mid 8th century during a period of anarchy. His successor Dharmapala greatly expanded the kingdom. Question 24. Kavi Vatsal was a title assumed by a king belonging to which of the following dynasties? The correct answer is option D. Satvahana. The name of the king is Hala who assumed the title of Kavi Vatsal. Question number 25. Which among the following Kavya of Sanskrit deal with court intrigues and access to power of Chandragupta Maurya? The correct answer is option D. Mudra Rakshasa. Mudra Rakshasa is a Sanskrit language play written by Vishagadatta that narrates the ascent of the king Chandragupta Maurya to power in India. The play is not a fictional play but an example of creative writing. It is dated variously from the late 4th century to the 8th century. Question number 26. What is the number of Richas in Rig Veda? The correct answer is option C, 10,580. Rig Veda has 10 mandalas, 1,028 suktas, 
and uh, 10,580 richas. Question number 27. In Rig Veda, the rivers Ganga, Yamuna are mentioned as below. The correct option is option B. Yamuna thrice, Ganga once. So, in Rig Veda, Ganga is mentioned uh, once and uh, Yamuna is mentioned thrice. The rivers Ganga and Yamuna and Saraswati had great prominence in Vedas. Ganga and Yamuna are mentioned together for the first time in Rig Veda. Yamuna is mentioned three times and Ganga is mentioned once in Rig Veda. Question 28. Which among the following erected Gangai Konda Cholapuram? The correct answer is option B. Rajendra Chola. 1. Gangai Konda Cholapuram became the capital of the Chola dynasty in 1025 during the reign of Rajendra Chola 1 and served as the Chola capital for around 250 years. It is a village located near to Jayan Kondam, Tamil Nadu. Question number 29. In Greek text, who among the following has been mentioned as Amitrokates? I repeat, in Greek text, who among the following has been mentioned as Amitrokates? The question, uh, the answer to the question is option B, uh, Bindusara. Bindusara is also called as Bindusara Maurya. The Greek Amitrokates is the second Mauryan emperor who ascended the throne about 297 BCE. Greek sources refers to refer him to as the Amitro Kids. Question number 30. Which among the following deals with the love story of a man called Charudatta and a Nagar Vadu called Vasanta Sena? The correct answer is option B. Mricha Katika. Mircha Katika. Mircha Katika is a 10 act Sanskrit drama attributed to Sudraka, an ancient playwright who is possibly from the 5th century common era CE and uh, who is identified by the prologue as a Kshatriya king as well as a devotee of Shiva who lived for 100 years. It deals with the love story of a man called uh, Charudatta and a Nagar Vadu called Vasanta Sena. During the end of which of the following period, the urban centers of Gangetic Plains declined? The correct answer is option B, Gupta period. The urban centers of Gangetic Plain declined with the Gupta Empire. The area surrounding Prayag, Saketa and Magadha area have declined. Question number 32. Who among the following has been mentioned as Maharaja the Raja and a lion to the Huna deer by Bana Bata? The correct answer is option B. Prabhagara Vardhana. Prabhagara Vardhana was the king of Tanizar in northern India around the time of the decline of the Gupta Empire. Bana Bata credits Prabhagara Vardhana with a strong stance against the Hunas, describing him as a lion to the Huna deer. So, the Prabhagara Vardhana was called as a lion to the Huna deer. Question 33. The Bijak inscription is related to which among the following kings? The correct answer is option B. Ashoka. The Bhairat temple is a freestanding Buddhist temple, a Chaitya Griha, located about a mile southwest of the city Bhairat, Rajasthan in India, on a hill locally called Bijak Ki Pahari. Bijak inscription is related to King Ashoka. Question number 34. Which among the following site has given and evidence that the people of Indus Valley Civilization were aware of tides. The correct answer is option C, Lothal. 
people of lothal which had a dockyard were aware of tides question number 35 bring out only the incorrect statement so from the options given bring out only the incorrect statement the correct answer is option c that is achata shatru was the last ruler of haryanaka haryanaka dynasty the achata shatru was the last ruler of haryanaka dynasty is the incorrect statement given in the option achata shatru was the king of the haryanaka dynasty of magadha in east india he was the son of king bimbisara and was a contemporary of both mahavira and gautama buddha the last ruler of haryanaka dynasty was nag dashak so the last ruler was nag dashak not hari uh, ajata shatru question 36 what was the name of silver coins issued by guptas what was the name of silver coins issued by guptas the correct answer is option b rupaka the silver coins issued by guptas were called rupaka the silver coin was called rupaka based on sakas of ujjaini weighing 32 to 36 grains the gupta gold coins are known as dinars silver coins are called rupaka gold coins are called dinars question 37 the saptanga theory of state theory of seven limbs of the state was propounded by the options select an uh, correct option correct answer from the option now the correct answer is option a kautilya in artha shastra saptanga theory of state was given by kautilya in artha shastra according to it the seven limbs of the state are king amatya janapada durga kosa danta and mitra question 38 which of the following statements about the viru paksha temple is correct one the temple is largest of monuments built by the chalukyas of padami two it is known as the earliest example of a pillar based structure in temple architecture select the correct option from the codes given below the correct answer is option c both 1 and 2 that means both the the options in the and, uh, question both 1 and 2 are correct the legacy of the chalukyas of badami is in the form of monuments at aihol badami pattadakal and uh, mahakuta in karnataka and uh, alampur of andhra pradesh the earliest monument is the rock cut ravana pahadi cave then we have the badami cave temples which are a collection of four caves three brahmanical and one jaina then there is a fifth natural buddhist cave also in badami these represent a mix of nagara and dravida style of temple architecture the largest monument of chalukyas of badami was the viru paksha temple hampi which was later improvised in the vijayanagar empire this temple is special because it has a panchayat hall kind of design with uh, 12 pillars this was earliest experiment for a pillar based structure in the temple architecture question number 39 Taittiriya Aranyakas and Taittiriya Upanishad are associated to the correct answer is option C Krishna and uh, Yajur Veda each veda has its own aranyakas and upanishads aranyakas were mainly meant for ascetics who lived in forest kaushikaki aranyakas and uh, aitreya aranyakas are parts of rigveda Taittiriya Aranyaka and Taittiriya Upanishad are part of Krishna Ayurveda. Question 40. Which among the following were the religious symbols or iconography of Indus people? 
one primitive temples two seal three statues four uh, terracotta figurines five amulets select the correct option from the codes given below the correct answer is option c only two three four and five uh, that means uh, uh, seal statues terracotta figurines and amulets they were only the religious symbols of the indus people there were no temples in the indus valley question number 41 consider the following statements with respect to personal appearance of indus valley people one the women wore bangles majority of which were handmade of terracotta two beads played an important role in dress of indus valley people three harappans wore clothes of cotton which among the above statements are correct the correct answer is option d 1 2 and 3 means all these uh, statements uh, given in the question are correct the majority of bangles were handmade of terracotta these were probably for everyday wear like the ubiquitous glass bangles worn today some were plain others were decorated with painted or uh, incised designs shell bangles were also widespread other bangles were made of copper or bronze rod bead making was a prominent industry beads played an important role in dress and this is confirmed by figurines which are often shown dressed in little else regarding clothing the harappans wore clothes of cotton leather and probably wool question number 42 which among the following are traits of early medieval india 1 development of diverse regional culture of india to formation of diverse regional languages of india three reinvention of vedic gods in hinduism four development of regional style in sculpture and construction of temples select the correct answer from the codes given below the correct answer is option b only 1 2 and 4 third statement is incorrect because there was no reinvention of vedic gods in medieval india in fact gods were worshiped as avatars of the absolute spirit during medieval india question 43 which among the following were seats of gana sanghas or republican oligarchies in the pre maurya era 1 kapil vastu 2 vaishali 3 kusingara 4 dwaraka select the correct option from the codes given below the correct answer is option b only 1 2 and 3 means only options 1 2 and 3 are correct the gana sangha or republics were basically the tribal oligarchies important pre maurya gana sangha were shakyas of kapil vastu likhavyas of vaishali and mallas of kusina gara and the pawa etc which flourished in the middle of first millennium bc the emergence of the mauryan empire marked the end of the gana sanghas in the terai and the north bihar as they were incorporated in the imperial system however such oligarchies of rajasthan punjab and other areas retained much of their identity even in the post mauryan period malavas arjunayana odambara trigartha abiras vrishni shibis agastyas and uh, yaudeyas etc were the important gana sangha of post mauryan period seat of vrishni was dwaraka question 44 consider the following pair of indus valley sites with indian archaeologist associated to them one kali bangan bb lal 2 mitatal suraj ban 
Sri, Harappa, Deya, Ram, Sahni. Which of the following is correct? Which of the above are correct? The correct option is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Means all of the pairs given in the question are correct. Means they are uh, correctly the match. The Indus Valley sites and the archaeologists associated with the sites are correctly matched. Question number 45. Consider the following pairs. Ahar culture, Rajasthan. 2. Iran culture, Madhya Pradesh. 3. Kayata culture, Bihar. Which of the above is correct? The correct answer is option A. 1 and 2 only. Kayata is a calcolithic archaeological site located in Ujjain district of Madhya Pradesh. As per carbon dating, it has been found that Ahar culture had lived in and around the Mewar region in Rajasthan between 3500 and 1800 and BC. Iran formed the northernmost limit of Calcolithic culture in Madhya Pradesh. It is located in Sagar district of Madhya Pradesh. Question 46. Copper rhinoceros sculpture was found at which of the following Indus Valley sites? The correct answer is option A. Daima Bad. Sculpture found at Daima Bad where copper rhinoceros, copper elephant and copper chariot. Question number 47. Which of the following were the religious sectarian literature of around 4th to 6th centuries. The correct answer is option C, Puranas. The word Puranas literally means old. The Puranas are the religious sectarian literature of later times belonging to the centuries between 4th to 6th. They have a well-defined perception of the past traditions. Question 48. Which of the following were the four ashrams dividing the life of a Dvija maid? 1. Brahmacharya, 2. Grihastha, 3. Vanaprastha, 4. Sanyasa. Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option D. 1, 2, 3 and 4. The four ashrams dividing the life of a Dvija male are as follows. Brahmacharya, that is a celibate uh, studenthood. 2. Grihastha, that is household caretaker. 3. Vanaprastha, the partial renunciation. Sanyasa, complete renunciation. Question 49. When was Gautam Buddha born? The correct answer is option B, 563 BC. Gautam Buddha, also known as Siddhartha, was born in 563 BC. He was born in a Shakya Kshatriya family in Lumbini near Kapil Vastu in Nepal. His father's name was Shuthodana. Question 50. The Sutta Pitaka consists of how many Nikayas? The correct answer is Option B, 5. The Sutta Pitaka of Buddhism consists of 5 Nikayas or books which includes the Dika Nikaya which is a collection of long discourses, Majhima Nikaya which is a collection of medium length discourses, Samyutta Nikaya which is a collection of kindred sayings, Anguttara Nikaya, collection of discourses arranged in accordance with number. Kudhaka Nikaya, smaller collection. Question 51. Which of the following statement is correct regarding Charva Charvaka philosophy? 1. They accepted sensory perception as the only source of knowledge. 2. They were opposed to the quest for Spiritual salvation. Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. The following statements are correct regarding Charvaka philosophy. 1. They accepted sensory perception as the 
only source of knowledge and two they were opposed to the quest for spiritual salvation question number 52 which ruler was successful in annexing the lechavis of vaisali the correct answer is option b achata satru the lechavis of vaisali was such a powerful state that achata satru the ruler of the powerful state of magadha had to make military preparations for years to annex it he also maintained diplomatic relations with the lechavis question 53 what was the capital of kosala mahajanapadas northern part the correct answer is option b shravasti kosala which is situated in eastern up included ayodhya and the tribal republican territory of shakyas of kapila vastu sarayu river divided the state of kosala into two parts the northern parts capital was shravasti question number 54 who was the first king to surrender to alexander the correct answer is option a ampi when alexander invaded india through khyber pass in 326 bce that is before common era he fought many wars with the rulers of the indian subcontinent all the rulers except the king pours surrendered in front of alexander the first king to surrender was king ampi of taxila next question 55 who is also famous as the conqueror of land between the two seas the correct answer is option c bindusara bindusara was the son of chandragupta maurya and durdara he was born in 320 bce he bought 16 states under the rule of the mauryan empire and thus conquered almost the entire indian peninsula that is why he is also called as the conqueror of land between the two seas so bindusara is called as the conqueror of land between two seas question number 56 which of the following was referred to as devanam piya piyadasi the correct answer is option c ashoka ashoka also referred to as ashoka vardhana was the son of bindusara in the year 1837 james princep deciphered an inscription written in brahmi script referring to a king called devanam piya piyadasi meaning beloved of gods which was attributed to ashoka question number 57 which of the following were known as stationary spies during the mauryan administration who were posted permanently at a particular region the correct answer is option b sansta sansta in the mauryan administration sansta or stationary spies were posted permanently at a particular region kautalya in his arthashastra also mentions about the dangers of assassination so the correct answer is option b sansta Question number 58 Which of the following were the principal crops grown during the Mauryan period 1 wheat 2 rice 3 barley 4 millet Select the correct option from the codes given below The correct answer is option D 1 2 3 and 4 So during the uh, Mauryan age the mainstay of the economy was agriculture The principal crops that were grown are as follows various varieties of rice barley millet wheat sugarcane and most of the pulses peas and oil seeds were produced question number 59 which of the following were terms used for share croppers working on the state owned land during the mauryan period one ardha sitikas two swariyo pajivins select the correct option from the codes given below the correct answer is option c both 1 and 2 kautalya or chanakya 
refers to different kinds of share croppers who worked on the state owned land such as Arthasithikas who kept uh, half of the produce and Swarvya uh, Pajivins who kept one fourth or one fifth of the produce. Question number 60. Pushya Mitra Shunga died in which of the following years? The correct answer is option A, 151 BCE. According to Puranas, Pushya Mitra Shunga, who founded the Shunga dynasty in 185 or 186 BCE, died in the year. 151 BCE. His reign is believed to have lasted for around 36 years. Question 61. Which of the following were considered other Mikas? The correct answer is option B. Nandas. Mahapatma Nanda, according to Puranas, was the son of the king of Shishunga dynasty by a Shudra woman. Therefore, the Nandas were considered adharmika, meaning those who do not follow the norms of dharma. Question 62. Chandragupta Maurya, under the able guidance of Kautalya, uprooted which of the following kings? Correct answer is option D. Dana Nanda. Dana Nanda was an arrogant and oppressive ruler who imposed heavy taxes on the common people. Chandragupta Maurya, under the able guidance of Kautalya, uprooted Dana Nanda and set up the Maurya Empire. Question 63. Which of the following kings started the construction of Sudarshan Lake? The correct answer is option C. Chandragupta Maurya. The Junagar inscription of uh, Rudra Daman 1 gives information about the beginning of the construction of Sudarshan Lake, which is located in the middle of the hill called uh, Girnar in Shaurashtra. It was built by Pushya Gupta, who was the provisional ruler of Chandragupta Maurya. Question number 64. Ashoka is referred to as Buddha Sakya in which of the following inscriptions? The correct answer is option A, Maski Edict. Emperor Ashoka was identified with various names which include Buddha Sakya and Ashoka as mentioned in the Maski Rock Edict. In the Sarnath Pillar inscription, he is referred to as Dharma Soka. Question number 65. The magistrates who looked after towns and cities in Mauryan Empire were known as? The correct answer is option A. Nagaradhyaksha. According to the Arthashastra of Kautalya, the magistrates who looked after the towns and cities were called Nagaradhyaksha, whereas those who looked after the military were called Baladhyakshyas. Question 66. Which of the following are correctly matched? Workshop Officer. The textile workshops Sutra Dekshya to Karyat workshops Ratha Dekshya 3. Mine workshops Akara Dekshya I repeat textile workshops Sutra Dekshya to Karyat workshops Ratha Dekshya 3. Mine Workshops, Akara Dakshya. Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Uh, means all the three are correctly matched. During the Mauryan period, the state-run textile workshops were placed under Sutra Dakshya and the carriot workshops under a Radha Dakshya Mining and metallurgy was an important economic activity of the time and the mine officer was called Akara Dakshya. Question 67. Which of the following was known as 
superintendent of markets during the Mauryan period? The correct answer is Sansta Dakshya. Sansta Dakshya was known as the superintendent of markets during the Mauryan period. Trade and urban economy received great imputes during the Mauryan age and it influenced almost all parts of the empire. Question 68. Which of the following Ashokan inscription makes a precise reference to taxation? The correct answer is option A. Rumindai inscription. Rumindai inscription. Option A. Ashokan edicts in the form of rock edicts, pillar edicts and cave inscriptions are found at different places in the Indian subcontinent. The Rumini Sorry, the Rumindai inscription is the only Ashokan inscription which makes a precise reference to taxation. Question number 69. Which of the following period saw the emergence of various mixed castes? The correct answer is option B, Shunga period. The Shunga dynasty was a Brahmin in origin. Hinduism revived under the Shunga rulers. Another important development during the Sunga period was the emergence of various mixed caste. This period also witnessed the integration of foreigners into Indian society. Question 70. Which of the following articles formed an important item of export to the Roman Empire in post-Maurian times? The correct answer is option A. Iron. Trade flourished between India and the Romans in the post-Maurian period. The trade consisted of import as well as export of items through the sea. Items like pearls, jewels and precious stones were some of the items of trade. Iron articles formed an important item of export to the Roman Empire. Question 71. The period between 165 BCE to 145 BCE is associated with the rule of which of the following Indo-Greek ruler? The correct answer is option D. Melinda. The period between 165 BCE uh, to 145 BCE that is uh, before common era is associated with the rule of Menander, Melinda or Menendra. You can Call it in three ways Menanda, Melinda, or Minendra. The empire of Menanda extended over parts of both Bactria and northwestern India. Question 72 Which of the following were a part of the three grades of feudatories during the Satvahana period? 1 Raja, 2 Mahaboja. 3. Senapati 4. Purohita Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option C. Only 1, 2 and 3. The Satvahana kingdom consisted of 3 grades of feudatories which are as follows. 1 is Raja who had the right to strike coins. 2 is Mahaboja. 3 is Senapati Question 73. According to Chinese text, which of the following were also called as Guishang? The, uh, the correct answer is option A, Kushans. The Kushanas were also called as Guishang as mentioned by various Chinese texts. Kushanas were also called as Tokarians and were one of the five tribes of Yuki and Yuyi. Question 74. Which of the following Kushan ruler issued a large number of gold coins? The correct answer is option B. Vema Katfisis. 2. The correct option. Uh, the correct answer. I will repeat it. Option B. Vema Katfisis 2. The Vema Katfisis or the Vema Katfisis 2 was the father of the most famous ruler Kanishka under whose reign the Kushana empire reached its zenith. 
Vima Confucius issued a large number of gold coins. Next question 75. Which of the following is the writer of a Sanskrit Kavya in the 6th century? Kiratarjuniya. The correct answer is option B. Bharavi. The Bharavi was the writer of a Sanskrit Kavya of the 6th century called Kiratarjuniya. The Kavya describes the combat between Arjuna and Lord Shiva in the guise of a Kirata or a mountain dwelling hunter. Question 76. Sartavaha referred to which of the following during the Gupta period? Repeat the question. Sartavaha refers to which of the following during the Gupta period? The correct answer is option B. Caravan traders. During the Gupta period, the Sartavaha was a caravan trader. He carried his merchandise to different places for profitable sale. Sartavahas often sold their goods three or four times their original price. Question 77. At which of the following places the famous relief scene of Vishnu rescuing the earth from the waters in the form of Nri Varaha can be found? The correct answer is option B, Udaigiri. The famous relief scene, uh, the famous relief scene of God Vishnu rescuing the earth from the waters in the form of Nri Varaha, which has the body of a man and head of a boar, can be found in the caves of Udaigiri near Vidisha. Question number 78. Which of the following Vakataka kings was the father of Gautami Putra who married the daughters of a Naga king? The correct answer is option C. Pravara Sena. Pravara Sena. During the reign of Pravara Sena, political alliance between the Vakataka and Nagas improved. His son Gautami Putra married the daughter of the Naga king Pavanaga, Baba Naga, which cemented the political alliance between the two kingdoms. So, the answer to the question is option C, Pravara Sena. Question number 79. Which of the following kings faced the invasion of the Nala king, Baba Dota Varaman? The correct answer is option A, Narendra Sena. Narendra Sena ascended the throne after Pravara Sena too. He faced the invasion of Bhavadota Varman, the Nala king, both in the beginning and at the end of his reign. He made some conquest but had to face the stiff opposition of the Nalas. Question 80. Which of the following kings was the most important ruler of the Maitrakas? The correct answer is option D, Dhruva Sena II. Dhruva Sena II was the most important ruler of the Maitrakas, who was a contemporary of Harsha Vardhana and was married to his daughter. He was well versed in grammar and the science of polity. Question 81. Which of the following kings married the Harsha Vardhana's sister Rajyashri? The correct answer is option B. Graha Varmana. Graha Varmana, who ruled the Maukharis around 600 CE, was the son of Avanti Varmana. He married Rajasri, the sister of Harsha Vardhana. Shashanka, the ruler of Bengal, and Deva Gupta, the ruler of Malwa, jointly attacked Graha Varmana and killed him. Question 82. Which of the following Pushya Bhuti king was treacherously killed by Shashanka, the king of Gauda? I will repeat the question. Which of the following Pushya Bhuti king was treacherously killed by Shashanka, the king of Gauda? The correct answer is option B. Rajya Vardhana. After the death of Prabhakar Vardhan, his elder son Rajya Vardhana came to the throne. 
but Rajya Vardhanan was treacherously killed by Shashanka who was the king of Gauda that is Bengal and Bihar. Question 83. Which of the following laid the foundation of Pala dynasty? The correct answer is option B. Gopala. Gopala laid the foundation of Pala dynasty around 8th century CE. Pala in the ancient Prakrit language means the protector. Pala means protector. As the names of all the succeeding kings ended with Pala, the dynasty came to be known as Pala dynasty. Question number 84. Which of the following kings were the feudatories of Mahipala 2? 1. Visvaditya 2. Iswara Gosa Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option C both 1 and 2. During the reign of Mahipala 2, the feudatories became more powerful. One of them was Visvaditya who was the ruler of Gaya Mandala. The other feudatory was Iswara Gosa, who was the chief of Dekari. Question 85. Rukmini Saya or Madhava Nithana is the work of which of the following writers? The correct answer is option A. Madhavakar. Rukmini Saya or Madhava Nithana was the work of Madhavakar. The text, the text treats all of diseases together. This book enjoyed great popularity during the medieval period. Question number 86. Which of the following composed Jnana Panchami Kada? The correct answer is option C. Maheshwara Suri. Maheshwara Suri composed Jnana Panchami Kada which is a religious tale in the latter half of the 10th century AD. Whereas Vijaya Sinha composed Bhuvana Sundri Katha in 975 AD. Question number 87. Pulkation 1 ruled during which of the following periods? The correct answer is option D. C 535 to 566 CE. Pulkation 1 ruled from C 535 to 566 CE. CE and founded the kingdom with capital at Watapi or Badami. He performed a number of Shrauta sacrifices such as the Ashwametha sacrifice. Question 88. The eastern Chalukyan king Vishnu Vardhana rule is associated with which of the following periods? The correct answer is option A. AD 615 to 633. Vishnu Vardhana was the brother of Pulkesin II. He asserted his independence from Pulkesin II and founded the Eastern Chalukya dynasty. His capital was at Vengi in Andhra. He ruled for 18 years from AD 615 to 633. Question 89. During the reign of which of the following kings the temple of Sangameswara at Pattadakal in Bijapur district was constructed. The correct answer is option A. Vijayaditya. King Vijayaditya who ruled the Deccan Chalukyas from AD 696 to 733 built the great temple of Siva under the name of Vijayeshwara now called Sangama Sangameswara at Pattadakal in Bijapur district. Question number 90. Raja Simheswara or the Kailashnatha temple was constructed during the reign of which of the following kings? The correct answer is option C. Narasimha Varman II. Narasimha Varman II, popularly known as the Raja Simha Pallava, was the ruler of the Pallava kingdom from 780 to 728 AD. He is credited with the construction of the Shore temple. Ishwara and Mukunda temples in Mahabalipuram, the Panamalai temple in South Arkot plus the Kailasanatha temple. Question number 91. The Rashtra Kutas were constantly involved in fight against which of the following? 1. Eastern Chalukyas of Vengi. 2. 
Pallavas of Kanchi, 3. Pandyas of Madurai. Select the correct option from the codes given below. The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. The family of the imperial Rashtrakutas claimed that it descended from the Yadu family of the Mahabharata times. The Rashtrakutas were constantly involved in fight against the following. 1. The Eastern Chalukyas of Venki. 2. Pallavas of Kanchi. 3. Pantyas of Madurai. Question 92. Which of the following acquired the title of Dakshina Pateshwara? Dakshina Pateshwara. The correct answer is option B. Pulkeshin 2. Pulkeshin 2 acquired the title of Dakshina Pateshwara which means the Lord of the South. He defeated Harsha in 637 to 638 AD. Pulkeshin 2 led many expeditions against Eastern Deccan Kingdoms, South Kosla and Kalinga. Question 93. Rajamala title was adopted by which of the following Chalukyan kings? The correct answer is option B. Vikramaditya 1. Vikramaditya 1 ruled from C. 655 to 680 CE. Vikramaditya 1 adopted the title Raja Malla which means the sovereign of the Mallas or the Pallavas. He also defeated the Cheras, Cholas and Pandyas. Question number 94. Which of the following succeeded Vikramaditya 4? The correct answer is option C. Someswara 3. Vikramaditya 4 was succeeded by his son Someswara 3. He focused more on literary matters than on military affairs. Vishnu Vardhana, who was his vassal, meaning subordinate, declared his independence and also conquered some parts of the territories of the western Chalukyas. Question 95. Raja Simheshwara or the Kailas Nada temple was constructed during the reign of which of the following kings? The correct answer is option C. Narasimha Varman 2. Narasimha Varman 2 popularly known as Raja Simha Pallava was a ruler of the Pallava kingdom from 780 to 728 AD. He is credited with the construction of the Shore Temple, Ishwara and Mukunda Temples in Mahabalipuram, the Panamalai Temple in South Arkot plus the Kailashanatha Temple. Question 96. Raja the Raja died on the battlefield while fighting in the battle of Kopam against which of the following kings? The correct answer is Option B. Someshwar. Rajadi Raja was one of the greatest and bravest warriors in the Chola dynasty. He died in the battlefield while fighting in the battle of Kopam against Someshwar, a western Chalukyan king. Question 97. Which of the following places emerged as an important weaving industry center during the Chola administration? The correct answer is option C. Kanchipuram. The early medieval period marked a significant improvement in the craft techniques and various centers of craft production emerged. During the Chola administration, Kanchipuram emerged as an important weaving industry center. Question number 98. Nedum Tokai, Kurum Tokai, Natinai, Ain Kurunu, Patitu Patu, Pari Padla, Kutu and Vari are the works of which of the following Sangams? The correct answer is option C, third Sangam. Nedum Tokai, Kurum Tokai, Natinai, Ain Kurunu, Patitu Patu, Pari Padla, Kutu and Vari are the works of third Sangam. It lasted for 1850 years and was patronized by 49 kings. Question number 99. Which of the following animals was unknown in Indian 
sorry indus valley civilization the correct answer is option a lion animals like buffaloes sheep pigs and the humped bull were bred animals like elephant camels and dogs were also domesticated lion have not been found anywhere in indus valley civilization whereas the remains of horse have been found in surkotada question number 100 which of the following gives earliest evidence of settled life the correct answer is option a meghar the earliest evidence of settled life farming and domestication of animals were found from meghar it was of 7000 bc thank you thank you for being with us in this session from uh, defense ias academy if you like the video please do subscribe the channel defense ias academy